Hey YouTube fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. In today's video, as you can see from the title, it is another vlog, but today's vlog is a very special vlog. It's my birthday vlog. It's my birthday vlog, and as you also saw from the title, I probably buried the lead, but we're going to Jamaica. A solo vacation to Jamaica for my birthday. I've been wanting to go to Jamaica for years and years and years. Finally decided to go this year for my birthday. I got a good deal with my flight points and I've been doing a lot of research and I decided to stay at the Hyatt Zelaria Rose Hall. It is an adults only, all inclusive. They do have another family side of the property. I think it's called the Hyatt Ziva. I might be saying that wrong. I'll know when I get there. When I get there, I'll know everything. But they have a family and children's side and then they have the, of course, adults only side. I am choosing to stay at the adults only side and with my swim up room and enjoying my 23rd birthday what can i get away with facially what can i get away with saying uh but uh, i'm excited and i'm excited to bring you guys along on this journey with me i have to drop off my dog before my plane leaves in the next three hours so if you want to head on this fast-paced journey with me just come come let's go still only six o'clock it's like 6 15 p.m but i left flight left maybe around noon it was delayed a little bit and then we touched down it's only a two hour and 30 minute flight which was awesome like we love short flights it's less than three hour flight it took me less time to get to jamaica than it did las vegas a few weeks ago so love it as far as the room, I love it. Again, I'm staying at the Hyatt Zelaria. The Hyatt Ziva is, again, the family property that is literally right next door. I thought it would be a lot longer of a walk. It's literally, you know, just a two-second little trot, trot, trot. A lot of people might be confused, too, because on Instagram, I think I said I was not going to Jamaica. And at that point, I had canceled my room, and I was not going to Jamaica. I had it booked my room, booked my flight back in March, paid in total points. And then, um, you know, family had scared me a bit. People, my mom always sends articles. My grandma always sends articles about places I'm going. But they had sent me an article I was a little reserved, so I canceled my hotel room. But, and then I was looking into canceling my flight and then it was like you paid in points when you pay in points it's a different complicated situation going on I paid for London in points and I wanted to extend my London trip a bit but because I played in points it was a complicated situation so I just said you know I'm gonna go for to London how many days I'm gonna go I wanted to extend it so I could do London and Paris and not feel rushed I felt rushed but again it was a free trip same thing with this trip. I did shorten it. I was able to call and shorten it a bit because it was going to be Monday through Friday. I actually leave Thursday. I just figured since I'm staying on resort, 
and I'm not really venturing out this vlog. I don't see myself venturing out into the city. I'm going to stay on resort pretty much probably the whole time. I didn't think I needed. I could have done the whole week. I could have did Monday through Friday, but just to kind of get back home, refresh before I have to go back to work because I have like 10 meetings already scheduled for work next week, which I'm dreading. So I need to refresh next weekend. But uh, yeah, I've been rambling for a minute. I scheduled my dinners because you do need to make reservations for your dinners. And I scheduled a, a facial for my birthday. Give me a, finally a facial. Please don't cancel on me. This is this will be the third time I've scheduled a facial two times by fluke accidents. Then people was not showing up for me. Okay, so third time's the charm. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do tonight. My meal, I made it at the Jamaican cuisine place. Tomorrow, I made it for the French restaurant, and then the next day, I'll probably make it. You can only make it for two nights in advance, so tonight and then tomorrow night. After that, I'll probably do Italian? I don't know. <laughs> But today is my birthday. Do, 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 do. It is my actual birthday. Sagittarius season has been upon us for several days, but the 28th, it's not the best day of Sagittarius season, but it, I mean, it's, it's probably one of the best. I might be biased. I might be a bit biased, but I am, let me bring you guys a bit closer. I'm not going to talk for long at all. I just had breakfast and now I'm going to kind of explore a bit. Last night I went to Jamaican Roots, which is a Jamaican cuisine place on site. And I have to talk about that drink. That drink, I got a margarita. Let's look back at that margarita for a minute. It was just straight tequila. It was just tequila with like, they probably put like, doop, like a little, doop, like literally they took a dropper, like a, like a, a serum dropper that you use for your skincare, took a little and then put, I sent a picture of my, uh, my manager's manager, she's the one who really commits me to come because she's been to here before, uh, she texted me happy birthday today, and she was like, drinks, 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 I showed her a picture of that drink, she said, something don't look right about that margarita, I was like, yes, because it's not, it's not a margarita, it's a literal tequila, I took one sip, I could not make it further, and so I got like a rum punch or something, because I was like, what does that girl over there have, because what I have y'all trying to get me on the floor y'all trying to get me messed up i'm I'm not for that I, I i'm somebody who likes a little bit i might actually teeter more to the little bit more juicier side than alcoholy side i don't be liking to taste taste the liquor like that like that so um got a run punch overall i'll give my food ratings after i've gone and explored more places but i'm excited i feel like i feel so loved even though so early in the morning so many people have reached out i posted on instagram so i did my birthday post on instagram but then like personally so many people have reached out i don't know why it feels like more than usual like they're little oh me oh my goodness i don't have any makeup on i didn't put any makeup on this morning because i know i'm getting that facial so i was like let's embrace let's embrace 34 Let's like all let all of it stand out. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah
restaurant this restaurant said smart casual they have different lingos resort casual smart casual resort formal like just different lingo and so I was like I think resort casual is you can wear a swimsuit in there I think smart casual is like you can be in like a warm or like a, a summertime vibe type of an outfit so I was like I probably can't walk in there with a swimsuit and a little thing let me put a little beach romper on top of my swimsuit so I can go to uh, brunch buffet on the other side, the Ziva side. I keep calling it the other side. Before I got here, looking at the reviews, a lot of them said, all the food options are on the Ziva side. So you have to go all the way to the Ziva side. Y'all, let me let me flip y'all around so y'all can see the Ziva side. The Ziva side, that's, that's right there. <laughs> it's literally that building right there starts the Ziva side. Um, so <laughs> it is literally the Ziva. It's it's not even like it's I'm looking at this like it's right the Ziva building is like right in front of that I this whole time I was like oh my god it's gonna be like a walk I'm having a journey over it's right there y'all y'all are tripping y'all are really tripping but today is gonna be a pretty chill day not that this whole trip isn't a pretty chill trip I mean if y'all thought the clubs were gonna be seen y'all have never seen a literal vlog of mine but I've never been a super turn up person you know, outside of, you know, when I was 18, 19, 20, 21, like all those clubby times, you know, I've had enough for locos, Everclears, all of that in my system. I've, I've had, I had a time in my youth. Um, so I'm not like a big serious party person. I'm more about the relaxation. I work a full-time job. I'm a YouTube creator. I'm working on Etsy players. I'm doing a lot at one time, especially this end of quarter, end of year that I really just need to like just breathe so I'm sorry if it's not like well you didn't go see this I told you I was staying on resort when I made the decision to come here I came here with the full intent of I'm not leaving here if this was a group trip maybe I'd be more open to it the facial was really good I've never had like a facial at a place like I've never like I've, you know I've had facials before but like at a resort like gone to a hotel stayed at a hotel and got a facial before it was, I had kind of, I guess because I had lowered my expectations, really, I was like, it's probably just going to be a little rub here, like, make you feel like you did something. They're not going to do no extractions. This is going to be like a double cleanse, a little mask, you know, do the arms and all of that. No, ma'am. Miss Ma'am was getting into my skin. She was, she was getting into my skin. She spent a lot of time. She had the light and she was doing a lot around my nose area. And I was like, what I got going on with my nose? She did my chin, which sometimes I do have a lot of white not white heads, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like little white specks. I, I have makeup on today, but um, she got a good, a great job of like getting that out. She was really taking care of everything. She did some, a little bit of forehead stuff. Um, the massage, she had the hot stone and going on my arms. It was really good. I swear it was longer than, it felt way longer, but I think it was the whole experience. Like you had to come in, go in the spa area. You could stay in the spa if you wanted to afterwards. That was my experience. Um, but yeah, let me stop rambling and go get me something to eat because I am a little hungry. Even though I had that 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 good lamb chop, that good cheesecake, all of the three courses, I woke up really hungry this morning. So let's take care of that real quick. <laughs>
I am back. It is now Friday. I got back Thursday, roughly around five. It was very much a breeze in terms of going through customs. I really walked up and I was the very first person in line. And the flight itself that I was on didn't even have anybody sitting beside me. I had no middle seat, no aisle seat. So I had the whole row to myself, which was we love a we love a non full flight. Every other people too had rows to themselves because the flight was again not packed at all. Uh, I went and pick up Winnie. The worst part of it all was the fact that I got back at five meant I was back in Charlotte at five o'clock traffic trying to get over to get Winnie and then get back home. So I got home roughly maybe around six forty ish. That again there to back took a moment, but it was a great overall trip. I have to say, one thing I'm always happy about is that my birthday falls when it falls because most kids are in school. Most people aren't thinking about traveling because they traveled the week before. The week before was Thanksgiving week. So people typically are off what to maybe take that whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, or they have Thursday, Friday off like I have Thursday, Friday off naturally. And so they travel that week. That's always the worst week, but nobody thinks about the week after. And that works perfectly for me because my birthday is the week after. So I have to say, in terms of like, my thoughts on the resorts and stuff people asked me last year when I went to DR I can't give a well-rounded because the resort is probably not the way it will be in full capacity in like a June or July when I went and it was the week after most travel season I say and I'm somebody who I like the least amount of people possible I'm here for not that I'm antisocial, but I want to relax and I felt like the resort was very quiet if you want big bombastic party vibes I think what's that the reggae Rio whatever the hotel name is if you see it on TikTok you've seen it that's the party hotel if you're looking for a party vibe this is not the hotel to go to at all. I think it was very much so calm, relaxed. I never heard too much fuss, even on the adult side, even on the kids side. Again, the Ziva side is literally right there. Even though it's, you don't see a lot of kids unless you go over there, it is just right there. So again, I don't think I ever felt like it was bombastic, a lot of things going on, even on my hallway itself. Um, again, I have the hallway where it was all swim ups on either side. And outside, every time I walk up and down the hall, there would be trays of food because people would be constantly ordering re room service. And some people didn't even leave their rooms. I was like, okay, this is a like an indoor really. But I also never saw them go out on the swim out either. So I was like, why y'all get a swim out? If y'all ever noticed, it felt like I had the swim out to myself a lot during this vacation. Like I look around and there'd be like a not another soul, but I know there's other people in the room. So I'm like, y'all could got a cheaper room up top than rooms that are, you know, balcony and all that is a little bit cheaper than the swim out in terms of the swim out i have to say one of my favorite swim outs again i had one in cabo i had one last year in punakana i liked this one i like the punakana one because it had a bar that i could swim up to easily like it, i didn't even have to leave you have to kind of leave because there's no bar in this swim up because there are multiple little swim ups like my swim up um but i think i put it up there with the nobu one because it was so isolated you didn't have to worry about other people in it uh the one i had in dr at majestic where i stayed at was a swim up but also it was the full pool too so it was the swim up on one side and other people enjoyed that pool as well so the other side of the swim up was like lounge chairs so it wasn't an isolated swim up it was anybody would enjoy that pool as opposed to everybody in our pool being having that swim up so really like that uh, in terms of food I have come to the realization that all inclusives the food isn't bad in all inclusives I'll just say that I want when I go to these places to try the authentic food of the place, like I want to be immersed. I go to Caribbean Hut at least once a, a week here in, in Charlotte. Like I love Caribbean food in general. Like it's not something, and same thing with Mexican food. I like Mexican food a lot as well. Like I don't love going to resorts and being offered, you know, Italian, French, you know, a steakhouse, um, like Japanese, like when I went to Majestic last year, every place I went was nasty. And I'm like, if y'all just probably had the authentic food, because y'all got the ingredients right there, the authentic DR food, I would have loved that way more than like giving me French food and I'm not in France or like Italian food. Like it, it just doesn't work in that way for me. So I feel like I, 
I prefer hotels where I have to pay because I feel like any hotel I've been at where I have to actually pay for the food, um, resort wise, like when I went to Puerto Rico earlier this year, it's the food tastes better. Something about the ingredients they put in when you got to pay for that food is a little bit different. I won't say the food was as bad as the Majestic. I think this food was a little bit better. I did enjoy that French restaurant, the Jamaican cuisine place. I love curry. Like I'm a curry person over a jerk person. I'll eat jerk, but I love curry. And so I wanted more curry. Like I just wanted more curry options. No place had a menu where I could get some good curry rice. Rice and peas was only at one place and that was that jerk hut. And I went there twice. I didn't want to have to keep going back to that place. I honestly just wish there was more variety in terms of the food or like, don't try to be something you're like, don't the French restaurant. Again, the escargot was not escargot -ing. The baguette was almost better than the baguette or was better than the baguette I actually had in Paris. But it's like, I don't know. The food, I'd say, let me give it a rating. Maybe six, maybe a six. Um, again, not bad food, but I just, I, I don't know. I just, there's something I'm looking for. And I know you're probably like, well, you could have gone off the resort. You could have gone off the resort here. I told y'all at the beginning, I was not going off the resort. So unfortunately, as a place that really encourages you, they really encourage you there to stay on resort anyways. I feel like just bring the, I don't know, bring something else in. I, I don't know what's missing, but that's that's what I think about the food and all of that. I think overall, though, 10 out of 10, recommend that hotel. Overall, really enjoyed the trip. But if you overall really enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Even if you didn't enjoy it, still give it a big thumbs up. We want all the love and support over here on this channel, as well as we want you to subscribe so you don't miss anything that we have going on over here, as well as make sure you're following me on Instagram at Leelavon89 so you would have known I was here a bit sooner. TikTok at Leelavon. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.